uh, but the commute for many people is just not feasible. So check the video out. If you have any further questions about Southern California in general, please reach out to me. I'll put my information here on the screen and also I'll put the blog posts in the description so you can read about the differences of Temecula and Riverside. Have you ever wondered about the differences between living in Temecula and Riverside, California? Welcome to Riverside County, a diverse region adorned with a rich tapestry of cities, each with its unique charm. Two of these gems, Temecula and Riverside, offer a blend of history, culture, and contemporary living that sets them apart. Nestled in the heart of Southern California, these cities echo the county's rich history, reflected in their architecture and community spirit. From the Mediterranean climate that blesses the region with sunshine most of the year, to the broad spectrum of housing options that cater to varying tastes and budgets, Riverside County embodies the California dream. Experience vibrant communities where friendly faces and warm hearts are the norm, not the exception. Explore employment opportunities that span from cutting-edge tech startups to established corporations. Or lose yourself in a plethora of recreational activities that cater to all ages and interests, from hiking in the great outdoors to indulging in the local food scene. In the next few minutes, we're going to delve deeper into what makes Temecula and Riverside unique and how they compare in terms of lifestyle, cost of living, education, and attractions. First, let's take a tour of Temecula, a city known for its wine country, old town charm, and numerous outdoor activities. Nestled in the heart of Southern California, Temecula is a gem of Riverside County, offering a lifestyle that is both invigorating and serene. Living in Temecula is like stepping into a postcard. With its rolling